Hi there, so how to use spring bones collisions? Let's see. Here's an example animation. As you can see simulated breast goes through the chest. The main point about collisions in this add-on is that one bone cannot be both simulated and collider at the same time. Simulated bones are ones that you mark with these two checkboxes and they are used to animate spring movement, obviously. But colliders are bones that affect simulated ones. So to achieve desired result in this case we need to make chest bone to be a collider. So when breast bone goes down chest collider will affect its movement as it would be in real life. Pay attention that collider distance attribute is very sensitive and you'll need to spend some time looking for proper result. In my case it should be 0.12. Also don't forget to restart animation mode after you changed value. As you can see now, breast moves a bit naturalier and doesn't fall through chest. But that's not all, there are a couple more important tips that I want to show you. What if you want a bone from another armature to affect your spring bone? It won't work as you expect. To do this we need an additional bone in the first armature. Create a bone and make sure that it's not parented to anything. After that go to bone constraints and add copy transform constraints that you need. In my case it's location and rotation. Set target to needed bone. In the end mark this bone as collider and don't forget to set proper collider distance value. And the last tip that is useful to know is that if you have your simulated bone connected to a collider, pay attention that collision will constantly affect bone. You can see explanation here. If you'd like to know how to bake achieved animation, check out this video. And as always, good luck with your art.